Once you've completed checkout and you've logged in, go ahead and click on the My Membership link in the topmost navigation. And here there will be information about your membership. At the very top, it tells you how many membership credits you have, how many of which you can assign to additional users, gives you a quick description of your membership, and lists a number of navigation tools to help you manage your membership. You can add new credits, you can assign credits, which we're going to do next, you can update your credit card information, you can drop credits if you no longer need the credits that you have, or you can cancel your membership. By default, when you purchase a membership, your account will be given access to the video library. However, if you're a technical director or manager of some kind and you don't personally need access, no problem, you can reassign that access to another one of your users. If at any time the membership drops down to one membership credit, then this will become a personal membership and you'll no longer be able to give access to other users. The only account that will be able to get access is the account that purchased the original membership. Later on, however, you can add more credits and upgrade it back to a group membership. When it comes to assigning new users access, it's pretty simple. You can simply go down to this add new user section and list email addresses of the users you'd like to add. Any email addresses associated with existing Build-A-Module accounts will be given access. And for email addresses that aren't associated with an account, an account will be created for it and an email will be dispatched to that email address with the username and password for that account. So I'm going to go ahead and add george at buildamodule.com and sandy at buildamodule.com. Neither of these users exist yet. And I'm going to click add members. You get some confirmation messages and then under the assigned credits listing here you now see all three accounts and they're all active. At this point, it shows that all of our credits are in use, which means we can't add additional users because we don't have any credits to give to them. But we can deactivate any credits that aren't currently being used by some of our other users and reassign them to another user. So I'm gonna go ahead and unassign my current account and I'm gonna save changes to users in order to free up that credit. I'm gonna scroll down and now I can add a new user. So we're gonna go ahead and add joe at buildamodule.com. Okay. Now it shows we have our three active accounts here and then our one inactive account. We can select any of these to delete and this won't delete the account but it will simply delete the association between the account and our membership. So we can safely delete our account here without actually deleting our user information. To trigger this we can simply click save changes to users and we're good to go. If you're managing a lot of accounts this way and you need to free up some credits to assign to some new users, you can sort users by last visited in order to see if there's maybe some accounts that haven't been used recently by clicking this link here. If you need to buy additional credits, it's really simple. You can simply click the add credits link at the top and that will drop you down to lower in the page and you can select the number of credits to purchase. Let's go ahead and purchase three more and I'm gonna click add credits to shopping cart. When these get added, you'll see that there's an outline of the pricing for each membership that you're purchasing, and it also mentions that it's been prorated in order to match up with the current schedule. So what's happening here is that because your membership renews at a specific interval, when you purchase new credits, you'll only pay for the amount of time that you'll be using that before the next renewal. And then it tells you here how much the price will increase on the next renewal date. When you complete this checkout, you'll have three new credits that you can assign to new users.